All right, YouTube. Basically, I want to talk about the haunting event that is going on in Warzone and in Black Ops today. And basically, we know that basically Black Ops have been integrated into Warzone that still runs off of the Modern Warfare disc. I hate swapping it out. And yes, you can download and have it online, but at the same time, I have an error in which it tells me I have to download it from the actual disc, you know, so... And that sucks. And other than that, I mean, I haven't played much of uh, Modern Warfare. I have no need for it. I kind of disliked it. As for Black Ops, I mean, I liked it when it first came out, but people ruined it, you know. It was just, just the sheer amount of cheating. People in the back. And then you have those one-shot weapons that just really turned the game off for me. Even so, there's some nice maps. That's just... The fun was taken away because the people ruined the game. Black Ops isn't that bad. But I mean, people really ruined it for me that the, the game became the third worst Call of Duty I've ever played. So let's talk about the haunting, you know. In Modern Warfare, the haunting event was a sheer fresh air, you know. It brought me back for a moment, you know, something new. Um, we had the Saw character we could play, you know, Jigsaw. Um, the ghosts, with, they had like, you know, instant haunting parts that just scared you. I mean, it was fun. It was it was fresh and new. Now, with the haunting of this one, this one was a little bit different because they didn't have the scares like they usually do, you know. It, it, it didn't have that jump scare mechanics and that's kind of sad. But at the same time, it was still fun, you know. you Basically, you get to be your character in Battle Royale itself. And if you died, you became a ghost and you just, uh chased or collected um souls to like three of those to come back as a uh, alive again you know but the one thing kind of this point made they automatically put you in in a group of three uh, like if you don't have a set group you don't know what uh your team gonna do if they're gonna really play or if they brand new uh it, it can be uh, a pain sometimes but a few matches i had some good teammates great communication we lasted and kept coming back you know i didn't know how to play but there were some matches that these people did not know how to play once they became a ghost they just ran up to the person knowing they see them you know they they didn't know how to do the jump glide they didn't understand the mechanics of the game so some of it was all right some of it was just not so okay but i know it took me all day to well not all day half the day worth of uh, downloading it because I got rid of uh, Warzone, you know, the sheer amount of cheating, I just didn't want to play it out, wait till uh, Vanguard has theirs, and hopefully they don't do it like the, uh, Black Ops did, where you need to integrate it into Modern Warfare, you know, to play Warzone, I hope they don't do that, hopefully they start off fresh, fresh map, new mechanics, um, and it's just off the disc alone. I don't want to have to keep swapping or do, doing... I don't want to do that. I really don't have the mood for it. I'm hoping we have something that's fresh. And not a repeat and just uh, reused assets. But anywho, so let's get back to the ghost part, okay? Like I said, it was, it was pretty fun for uh, uh, what it was. I did get what I needed. But there's still some cheating going on. And usually this involves the players who get up high. And they got the one-shot uh, weapons. And you can tell they have chronos attached to the, you know, on their controllers. And it really took the fun out of, you know, because there's no way somebody should instantly lock on to you. And, you know, and I um, mean, it, it took some of the fun away, you know, but it was still fresh, new. I got the items you could, you know, get from the event for the Warzone part, what I wanted anyways. And I just quit and uninstalled, you know. Because it wasn't as engaging as uh, Modern Warfare's haunting. You know, so it wasn't that bad. I would put it that way. Now we went to the multiplayer that you could get, you know, the extra things. This is where I got, you know, easily half a day's work of just getting all nine items just to get the final build for the weapon. Uh, I could say that was an uh, experience. Because there was moments I had fun where people communicated with you. You had fun. You gave out call outs, you know. Uh, I, I got back into Search and Destroy, which was one of my favorites. And that part was the fun part. The bad part, way more cheating than I've ever experienced from this game. 
seems more people are getting promos for their controllers and instantly lock on. Now uh, they're still using hacks, you know, they just cover they got more better hacks now that covers up, you know, from seeing characters through the walls from their kill uh their cameras, you know, their side. But you can still tell they're cheating. Because there's no way they know where you are coming around the corner and they instantly just lock on to you. Like instant three times. I mean, you can tell what cheating is, you know, from their kill cams. Excuse me, but it's way more people than it, it, it first started out as, you know, when I quit. But it really made things really hard. And I rage quit on the second day, you know. I, I did this for like three, four, just going on the fourth day now. But I'm trying, you know, gain enough coins so I can get that scream outfit. That's what I really want, you know, is that character. But once again, I don't know why they relying so much on paid bundles. Why can't you earn stuff? Why can't you earn Call of Duty points in the game, you know? Why you constantly got pay for things and you can't just get one item you gotta pay for the bundle so that's one or two items you want and the rest is trash and you don't care for and you know the one stuff you do want is always the 2600 coins or so you know 24 26 whatever it is but it was the high amount you know i do want that screen one but i don't want to spend money for it i really don't that should have been earned that should have been the item the last thing to win you know or earn in the game they really make things impossible you know like they got the church dread, they got the Rambo, but you got to pay for it. But all the other Call of Duties before um Modern Warfare, you could earn the items, earn the the people or whatever. I mean, like they didn't have operators you could like buy. You know, they even they didn't even do that in Black Ops Four. So why do you have to buy the operators in Modern Warfare and Black Ops? I hope Vanguard does not do that. You know, I will make a bad video about it because I don't want to pay for. Every little damn thing. But besides that, um, once again, people being toxic uh, on there. You know, I did have some good matches, but there was a lot of toxic people still dropping in bombs. And you know, they're the weak white people doing that. I, I don't want to say it like that, but I mean, like, you know it's white people who's dropping in bombs like that. You know, you can tell from the voice and, and just the playoffs and they're just being real racist online. They need to find a better method of getting rid of those, you know, besides this, every Call of Duty has like a report button, but it, I've never seen a Call of Duty that actually does anything. Usually you got to be a big YouTuber and then turn that information over to Activision before a person get banned. But that, it's real toxic still. Um, it's, the amount of cheating is horrible. I mean, what's even worse is, like I said, the one shop weapons. You got the Marshall. You got that one sniper uh, rifle and then you got that shotgun. It's all one shots and them shotguns should not have a range up the, like damn near middle of the map itself. You know, I mean, I've seen some bad things that shouldn't happen. If you got automatic and you just tearing them up, they should not be able to fire once and you dead from that. You should have the upper hand. <sighs> so that kills it off, you know, I mean, why does it feel like you're playing hardcore when you're not in hardcore mode? That's, that It shouldn't be like that. I can understand with like, you know, a sniper rifle, but at the same time, I can understand it if you find a location. If you're just sitting in the back and waiting, yeah, that's toxic. If you're just using chronos to lock in and you're using one-shot weapons, you you don't deserve to play. You don't deserve to be on Call of Duty. But this is my, my mode, you know. Besides that, I mean, it was a good event. It could have been better. They could have took more time out on it. It was fun to have, you know, the screen character. You had the screen mode where two killers come after you and... Uh, the infected was pretty good, but Modern Warfare's uh, the hunting was much better. That that's the best way I can put it, you know. Black Ops just, I don't know. I'm I'm still playing it because, like I said, I'm trying to get that coin so I can get the outfit. But besides that, I don't know. I just hope, like I said, the new Call of Duty starts off fresh and they don't. I know they have battle, you know, the um, battle system, Fortnite battle pass. I know they got the tiers, but I'm still hoping you can earn the stuff and they don't focus on bundles and take away from, you know, building the game. Because that's what they focus mostly on. If you take more time making bundles instead of the gameplay or the mechanics of the game, you got a crap game. That's just the way I feel. And right now, we've already had three bad Call of Duties. I didn't like Black Ops 4. That's the worst Call of Duty I ever played. Modern Warfare, because they started off bad and the people made it uh, bad. Black Ops... 
you have some good maps, but yeah, then you put those maps into the different things. I wish it was more open, like you had the uh, vehicles, you had um, the ship that you could just um, get onto the rail to get to the other side, you know, the uh, what do you call that thing, zip li uh, lines. But you didn't make uh, more that you should have. There's only like, I think, five in total, there's something like that, but. It needed to be way more, you know. That's where it should have been built on. Because when you made it smaller, and uh, I don't care for it. I don't care about these little small crappy maps. And you did that with Vanguard. Vanguard got small maps. And uh, when you put Blitz on it with 14 characters, then 20 is just a cluster. I don't know. This is my opinion, you know, how I feel about the haunting. It did bring me by feel a little bit, but it could have been a much better experience. You know, it's the people who are ruining the game with the sheer amount of cheating. I swear, if if this little new anti cheat they got coming up for Vanguard doesn't do nothing, I, I may not uh, fully play it Vanguard. I may be done after the first um, what do you call it, uh, map pack from the first season or whatever they want to call it. If it's like that, I'm done, you know. And hopefully, I just wish Modern Warfare Two would be different. But if it's all battle pass, all you gotta buy it for the good stuff, and you can't earn nothing, I'm done. I don't feel rewarded. I don't feel like I'm playing long term rewarded for anything. You know, the leveling for the tiers for the weapons. Who wants to? Since Black Ops, they ruined it. Who wants to sit there level up so long for a hundred tiers or whatever? I mean, like a hundred levels, and just for certain unlocks. I mean. That killed me on Black Ops. Modern Warfare, they made it easy. It kind of was fun to do that. But now it's just you don't feel rewarded. Long term, you don't feel rewarded. What can I say? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave some likes and comments. Please subscribe. And always enjoy.